It is time for some more Cloak to Grandmaster. In the last episode, we played the best game yet. We did lose, but today I want to show a better performance, get back up over 5k MMR. Let's do it. All right, here we go. First game of the day is against another Terran. Now, I do remember that that's what I said in the last episode. First game of the day ended up being the only game because it was a freaking 32-minute banger against mass battle cruisers. Hopefully, this time we can play a more calm, relaxed warm-up game. Okay, well, actually... I feel like most of you are probably hoping that I play a similarly awesome game as that one. But for me, I, I, I think it would be nice if I get a little bit of a warm-up game here, guys. Not, not necessarily talking that I just brutalize him, but maybe just a little more relaxed. If he's going to beat me, let him do it fast. Well, actually, I, I don't really like losing early on. Actually, I just want to win. Okay, I've been lying to you guys. I just want to absolutely brutalize him. Sorry, guys. I'll be, I'll be more honest next time. Now, it, it was the same map. Last time we did play on the same map. Now, would I do anything different than the way I did it that game? It, it, it's pretty funny, because one thing I learned last game was that... Uh, yeah, if, just if you guys don't remember the game or didn't see it, it was pretty much a 32-minute macro game. And he got mass tanks, mass battle cruisers, And for some reason, I was able to compete it with Ghosts and Widow Mines and Banshees, even though you technically need 40 Ghosts to beat one battle cruiser. Uh, and it was really, really epic. But what I did learn is that normally... I tried to get to the macro game because the early game is a little rough for my strategy, right? Like Banshees, they're, they're, you know, they're pretty good early on, but Ghosts are useless early on. Widow Mines are decent, but you can't really win the game. So I just try to get to the late game, but I can't do it to the extreme because if I go to the extreme late game and play super passive, then you get, you know, you have to play against tanks and battle cruisers and stuff. So there's, there's definitely a balance we have to find to be able to compete with these high MMR Terrans. Now, this one is slightly lower MMR than the other one. I think the other one was comfortably Grandmaster at about 5.1k. This player was 4.7. I think it was a barcode, right? Yeah, a barcode player. So, uh, I was he AFK or is the Wait, is this the world's craziest cheese? Am I getting out cheesed? I, like, he must, he must have some barracks proxy. Okay, well, this is... I haven't seen anyone do this in like years. What the hell? Are we? We're getting marine SCV pulled? Huh? I mean, proxy two racks, okay, but pulling six SCVs with it—that's freaking insane. I'm, I'm, I'm actually curious what's going on here. Okay, there is a, it is actually a freaking marine SCV pool, guys. Can you believe it? Now, this is kind of scary because I'm not allowed to make more Reapers and I'm not allowed to make Hellions either. Keep that in mind. So this is going to be quite scary, guys. I have to be honest. This bunker is not going to get up. I, I need to defeat him before he gets too many Marines, I think. I'm going to start making Widow Mines. I, I, I guess I'll make a Starport. I mean, I just... I don't really have anything else to build. All right, well, this, this is going to be a funny one. Widowmines are going to have to do the trick. I'm going to have to pull my SCVs now because, yeah, I mean, I can't really beat this another way. Now, my bunker is going to finish. I am going to be on top of the Marines. Let's see if I can get a couple fast pickoffs. Then I'm going to go back over here. The, the Reaper here is super important. Like, I can never lose this Reaper. This one I'm going to retarget. There we go. Oh, my goodness. I got all of the Marines and we have defended. All right, well, cloaked. I mean, to be fair, guys, the widow I did most of the work, so I guess the cloaked unit did do the trick. But this is a freaking insane cheese. I haven't seen anyone do this since Wings of Liberty, I think, or Heart of the Swarm. And I guess that's my warm-up game. Got to practice my micro a little bit, get into the mojo. Let's go to game number two. All right, game number two is against another Terran. All right, so I guess we're going to get our Terran mash anyway in before we play against that cheese again. I mean, if we play against that again twice in a row in 2023 wait that, that's what the year yeah that's what the year is okay we just wanted to make sure if you play against that twice in a row that must have been done in like a, a big tournament or something the guy <laughs> the guy yes that's me <laughs> aren't you aren't you the guy yeah that's me i guess all right the lounge well you know a lot of you have always told me in the past that i i should lie when that is asked because else I get blind countered brutally. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, if you think about it, I was talking a lot about the last game or the game in the last video in during the last game, which was only three minutes. And I mean, can I get blind countered harder than that? I, I don't even know. Can I get blind countered harder than Battlecruiser Tank? I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure, to be honest. And that game was very close. So maybe we can do it. Now, I'm definitely too overconfident. If you guys recall me playing that game, I was definitely saying, as soon as the Battle Cruiser finished, I was like, yep, yeah, I, I can probably leave this game pretty soon. I, I was wrong about that, to be fair, but that's what I thought. So I, I guess we'll see. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a little scared. The thing is, if he knows it's me, 
doesn't necessarily mean that he knows the challenge. I know that's, you know, that's uh, you can be a little skeptical about that because what other challenge could I be doing if you've watched the YouTube in recent times? But still, let's let's not, uh, you know, let's not disparage ourselves. So I'm going to wall off this time. Normally, I build a supply depot here, but I think walling off is maybe a little safer considering I'm not allowed to build multiple Reapers. I'm going to send that SCP into the main. Let's see what we can find. I want to, yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. Normally, I would always say this is a standard double gas. I think there's also a chance that you could go for two racks reaper trying to counter my challenges because I'm not allowed to make multiple reapers, right? And I'm not allowed to make hellions. Now, in this case, I, I don't think necessarily that that's going to be, a, you know, too big of a deal for us. Like, we can still stop it. I'm kind of, yeah, you know what? I was going to say, I'm kind of tempted to hide this SCV on the top somewhere and just send it into his base later and see if we can get some sneaky information. This is not a move I would normally make. But especially now I have admitted that it's me, that I am the guy. <laughs> I'm going to play uh, a little smarter or a little trickier. Not necessarily because I'm scared, but I do think it's smart to switch it up a little bit from my normal patterns. You know, if, if, if I'm sure that he knows that it's us. And expand on the high ground as well, maybe to create the illusion that I'm going to go for, you know, like a one base banshee, like a one base cheese kind of thing. Gonna make two more marines. Kinda tempted to make the starport first, to be honest. I'm gonna keep these here. I, I think it would be really, really good for us if he gets scared that there's no natural and then jumps up here with the Reaper and we can kill it. Because the Reaper is super, super important here. And now it's a good time for me to go in with the scout. Gonna see what his natural timing is. Gonna make my last marine and then I'll probably start making some reactors. Do I have enough time? I kinda wanted to burrow this widow mine on the ramp, but I think I'm gonna send it down here. Let's see. I just hope it doesn't die to something. Okay, that looks pretty normal. That's a, I think that's a fifth unit. So he, ma yeah, I think he made five units. The standard is three, two reapers and, uh, or three reapers and two hellions. But he went for five units, so I need to be extra careful. There's probably three reapers out there. The widow mine is gonna do a decent job, of course. I'm gonna burrow an extra widow mine here. I wouldn't be surprised if he's just gonna try to run past the widow mine. Uh, pretty standard move. Okay, so he sees that. Let's see if he tries to jump up here. That would be really nice. Okay. He, he's checking if there's something here. He's tempted. Okay. He, I, I know he wants to run past. Yeah, exactly. I knew he does. And now he sees there's no expansion. And now he's going to run into the other widow mine. I think it's close, but at least we're going to get both, I think. Oh, barely not. But he also doesn't get the widow mine. So I guess in the end, that is a pretty good trade. And so far, I mean, I wouldn't say it's, it's amazing for us because our expansion is late, but... Couldn't have been much better at the same time. I'm going to keep these Marines over here so he can't jump into the main base. Banshees are on the way. And now I have three Widow Mines. The hardest part is going to be defending this natural with... Oh, wait. I can put... Ooh, that's going to be a big play. Okay, check this out. I'm going to put two Widow Mines here. Because usually they try to use it at some point on this map. Like, it's a very sneaky Reaper spot that's easy to forget. So usually they use it at some point. And then maybe I could just get both Reapers for free. If he jumps up here, I should also, well, be, be able to kill at least one, I want to say. So this Reaper is going to give me a scout. I'm going to bring that one into the main. It, it's very important that I know if it's Battle Cruiser, right? Like, if he's going to go for BCs or, or Banshees, but also be a very good counter. Okay, you know what? I think I'm just going to make an Engineering Bay. I, I, I'm also going to go for a scan. Let's see. I'm going to go for a scan. Let's see. It doesn't look like Banshee. It looks completely standard to me, actually. Uh, so that is quite nice to see. Guess I'll just burrow these in kind of a... Wait, this is an annoying place. If you, if you burrow it in... Oh, that's actually the, not the one I wanted to burrow. If you burrow it in the middle of the ramp, it's a little obvious. But if you burrow them like a little more sneaky, like to the side like this, uh, I think there's a bigger chance that they could pop off. Now, it looks like we're playing against standard play. Uh, I could still make turrets at some point just to be safe, though. Like, keep in mind, we don't have the best army composition, so we do have to compensate a little bit here and there, of course. Third command center is finished. I'm probably going to get it down a little faster than my opponent is. Mostly because, uh, you know, I'm playing a little greedy here. I think he's playing completely standard. I'm playing a little greedy. Now, should I make the turrets? Oh, yeah, I think I, I'm just going to make them. Why not? There we go. Okay, now he sees double starport. That is probably in line with what he was expecting since he know that I am the guy. I really like that name. I really like the way he put that, by the way. In full caps lock as well. The guy. I'm gonna remember that one. Maybe, maybe maybe, that's my next account name. The guy. I wonder if people would recognize me if I called myself the guy, you know? <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get anything here. No widow mines. He does have a cyclone. I could kill the cyclone. Oh, this is really big. There we go. He wasn't paying attention for a sec. We get the cyclone. And auto turrets are pretty expensive to drop. Let's see. Okay, he, oh, he has a viking somewhere there. Okay, let's see if I... I'm gonna get one more then. 
There we go. All in all, pretty good trade there, I want to say. I'm going to go for Ghost as well. M maybe I could have gone for a Planetary on this base. Or would it have been too much? Let's see. Okay, we're going to kill a Reaper there. That's already quite nice. I'm going to keep burrowing those in annoying places. I think that's a good idea. Maybe I could get some turrets up around my uh, my front base, actually. See, can I kill this one? I think if we're lucky, we can probably get a good hit off. No, he sees it with the Raven just in time. My Widomites do survive all the time with, like, no health, by the way, which is, which is really great. So he's going to go for a good push. I think what I should do here is just get a nuke. I think, I think this is the best thing I could do. Just go for a nuke. Let's see. This is a widow mine. I'm going to change that to being in front of his base. This one too. And then I'm going to get these banshees in. I'm going to start making some more turrets out of here. But like turrets and widow mines are going to be able to make it happen for me. Oh, he didn't make turrets at home. That is huge. He doesn't probably... Yeah, he has a scan. But it, yeah, it, it is just a scan in the end. Like it's going to run out. He does have a couple command centers let's see he's not even gonna kill us he's, he's gonna have to use another scan for those he's gonna use it right away probably okay so he kills one of them but he had to use four scans for that right like that's really not good i did lose my third command center i really wasn't paying attention to it to be honest but can i ever kill this army at the front that is the question i have two more banshees i guess i lost the other one okay i'm gonna put these two widow mice behind maybe if he's not paying attention i could get in here on those units Okay, I do have a nuke available. I'm going to drop the nuke right now. There we go. Two more banshees flying across the map. I'm going to remake that command center. Let's see. I, I don't know where he's going to go with those units, but he's going to have to go somewhere, right? Okay, so he's making more turrets at home. He probably... Uh, he probably uh, Yeah, okay. I was going to say, he probably has dodged that already, I want to guess. So he's dropping auto turrets here. Not, not quite sure if I like that move, I have to say. Those auto turrets probably, you know... Could have been good if he used those to defend his tanks. I think, I think I'm going to be able to kill all of those tanks, actually. Like, I don't want to get too confident, but the tanks were kind of out of position. See? Okay. One goes down, two goes down, and the third one is going to fall pretty fast. Oh, I took one more hit that I wanted it to take. That is pretty tough. We are in a decent amount of trouble here, though. Wait, he even has more auto turrets than I thought at this point. I do have two ghosts now. Wait... He has three more tanks? Did I, did I not kill any? Or like, what is, what is, what's going on here, guys? This <laughs> does not seem correct here. It uh, looks like we're just playing against a... Oh, he went for the double factory. Ah, that is how he blind countered us. I mean, I, I do think it's very interesting to see how people do it, by the way. Like, even despite, you know, letting him know it's us from the start. I always think it's very interesting to see how people blind counter us. And he decided to do it by going for, uh, you know, really fast tank push with multiple factories. That's quite interesting. Did I get the nuke? I do have one more nuke available. I could I could use it on on my own base too, I suppose. Oh no, he just killed it. I was just a little bit too late. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I mean I, I'm down to give it one more shot, but I think here uh, it is probably all over at this point. I'm gonna chase him down. Let's see if I can maybe just absolutely wreck him when he's on the retreat. These banshees are going to catch up, of course. Okay, let's see. We're going to get one tank already. That's nice. I, I do think he has just a little bit too much. Oh, we got an EMP there. That's quite nice, I have to say. We got an EMP off on the Ravens. And now our base is back. Let's see. Okay, those clearly did a little bit of damage. What should, what, what should I be making now is the question. Like, Widow Mines scattered around the map are good. But he's clearly playing very close attention to them. So... Is that really going to make the difference at this point? Now, he has more economy than me. But if I can maybe do some serious damage before he gets that base up, there might be a chance. I mean, I, I don't think so, but let, let's see, right? Okay, so he's taking the base now. We're going to be able to kill a bunch of those SCVs. Oh, he has two more turrets up there. God, this really... I mean, I feel like a lot of you out there... I mean, co correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure about this one, okay? I feel like there's a lot of people in the comments that's like, I told you, you shouldn't have told him. Why, why, why are you telling me, Turbo? Now he's going to blind counter your hardcore. Well, I'm not done trying yet. I actually... To be honest, we have to be realistic about the situation. The only thing I can do to win this game is go for a bunch of nukes. Like, not just, you know, one or two nukes. But no, I feel like we have to go for a ton of nukes. I, I think it's actually the only way. I can get cloak and nukes and then get some really big hits. I mean, his army's massive, his supply... I want to guess it's probably at like 130 or so. Um, like his army is not massive, but it's clearly not something I can deal with. I, I can split my Widow Mines around to just try and be as annoying as possible. Okay, so I'm going to get nuke number one. I, I think a double nuke might be the best idea here, actually. So I'm going to go. F I'm gonna put one ghost here. And then I'll r run the other one around. 
Okay, should I make... I think I should make more Widowmites. The, the Banshees, I feel like they've kind of run its course. My supply is so freaking low, but I'm just fishing for like... Oh, no, he moved out. Ah, oh, that sucks. Well, maybe a counterattack is the only thing I can do. Here we go. Move. Where's my other ghost? I have one ghost, right? Yeah, okay, there it is. I figured it would be somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna walk into his base now. Let's see if there's anything I can do. I guess I can kill a bunch of these Hellions if he's not paying attention. And then nuke his tanks from behind at some point. Okay, I'm, go I'm gonna get two nukes. That 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 is a given, right? I'm gonna get two nukes up. Is he here? I don't even know if he's... Oh, there he is. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna move back and then I'll nuke the base. He now knows that that position is nuked. Uh, let's see. I, I, need, I need to nuke this. I need to get like the entire army. That's the thing. Here we go. Let's see if the nuke is gonna pop up. I, I, I think you'll probably realize and retreat. Oh, okay, he saw it right away. I'm gonna make two more nukes. I wait. Did it? What the hell happened to the command center? Like it's just it, it was just gone all of a sudden. Like I have no idea what happened to it. But the command center was just gone. The ghost didn't do anything and GG well played. And I will concede, guys. This time, wait, did I kill the CC? No, I didn't. Okay, I was wondering. That would have been very cool if a couple ghosts would kill the CC. This time, you guys were right. I should not have told him. The next time I will lie to him viciously. Well, the next time you'll recognize me anyway. But uh, let, let's think about it for a second, right? So I think something I could have done different is maybe go for ghost earlier when I'm being blind countered because the Banshees, even though they're technically the strongest unit in this composition, they're also the easiest to counter by far. The early game, they're tough, but this guy made turrets. He, to be honest, he made way too many turrets. Like, you don't really need that many. I think, how many turrets does he have? Like, 13 or something? It was the... Oh, there it is. I found it. How many turrets does he have? 11 turrets. Yeah, it's a lot. I mean, it worked. So you can't say anything about it. But the bands are the easiest to counter. Maybe the next time, when the opponent knows it's me, when we get a rematch, maybe I should actually go for that ghost focus gameplay because it's maybe creates a little bit more panic. It's maybe a little bit harder to counter. It is what it is. Let's go to game number three. All right, game number three against a Zerg player. It is a pretty high-ranked Zerg player as well, and I do feel like I'm in the mood for a little bit of revenge. Not necessarily on this guy, but just on the ladder, you know? I just want to prove to you guys that I still got it after getting absolutely buffed in that last game. We, we have played against him before, and... I actually no, I think I think it was on stream. I, I was trying to remember where I played him, and I was gonna say it has to be cloaked to Grandmaster because uh, this is you know the highest MMR challenge that I currently have, and he's obviously very high MMR, sitting comfortably in Grandmaster. Uh, but I think we played him on stream instead. Like I think I was just playing a ladder game, and we played against him. But whatever happened in that game, I don't remember though. So now what am I gonna do? I I feel like just kind of wing it a little bit. I'm just. I'm really getting like command center first vibes here. Like, call me crazy, guys, but I'm feeling the command center first. I feel like I'm ab I'm about to reinvent how to play TVZ. Okay, so a while ago, you guys might remember I did this build a couple of times. You might remember the build. Wait, oh yeah, Battlecruiser mine to Grandmaster, of course. That's where I did it. I would very often go CC first, take a lot of gases, and then make two Starport Battlecruiser after, right? But what if I do that build but go two Starport Banshee instead? I, I feel like maybe it could be pretty good. Now, TVZ is slightly different from the other matchups in Cloak to Grandmaster because in TVZ, Ghosts are actually a lot better, simply. I mean, in particular, better than in TVT because in TVT, Ghosts are just... <laughs> they're, they're, they're really not that great. And I, I say that despite saying that in the last game I should have made more Ghosts, and I still stick to it because it's like an outplay unit, but realistically, they, they really suck against Terran. Like, j j just imagine how many Ghosts you need to break like five siege tanks like the standard seven minute terran push has five siege tanks can you imagine how many ghosts you would need to a move it in a concave the, the answer is a lot i mean obviously you know if you get a good nuke off or they're not sieged or whatever it makes a difference but just imagine guys five siege tanks with maybe like some landed vikings or something how many freaking ghosts do you need to break that i wonder if you guys can guess it the, an the answer is a lot i don't know what the answer is by the way but it's a lot i can tell you guys that much Okay, so we're playing against the hatch first. That's going to be pretty comfortable. Um, I th Let's see, how am I going to do it? Like, no normally, when you play against Zerg, you always go for Hellions, right? Hellions is just the complete standard unit to build in TVZ. Like, every single time, unless you do, like, a slightly different build, and maybe, like, a... Let's say, if, you know, a two-on-one, if you guys know what that means, a fast two medevac stim drop, then you don't necessarily make hellions but pretty much 90 percent of tvc's you make hellions and the builds are also very suited to make hellions so now i'm kind of wondering what i should be doing instead i, I definitely want to start walling the low ground a little faster than usual don't really want to die to a link float like keep in mind i'm not going to make any hellions here i'm going to make a couple widow mines probably 
And with the mines, they, they're not that great against Link Floods. I mean, I, I know if I get like 30 circular kills on one with a mine, then they're definitely very good. But most of the time it doesn't happen, especially, in, you know, against Grandmaster Zergs. They're going to micro the Zerglings pretty well. And then, yeah, the Widow Bites kill one Zergling and that's about it, really. Yeah, I'm going to get one Starport here. And then I'll... I want to make another Starport somewhere else. I think I'll just make it here. Like, I don't have Marines yet, which is a little annoying. Uh, I guess technically I can also use the Widow Mines to deter the Overlords, right? Like, that is something I could do. And then I think I'm going to go for a third gas. I, I don't need four, I believe, for uh, Banshees. If I was going for Battle Cruiser, I would definitely need four here. This, this is probably fine. I'm not 100% sure, but it's probably fine. I'm just going to burrow a ton of Widow Mines on my ramp. I think I'm going to go for four Widow Mines, actually. Yeah, I'll go for four Widow Mines. There, there could be an Overlord here. I, I didn't actually check. Let's see what's going on in the main base. Looks like nothing suspicious, really. He, he is mining a good amount of gas, but it is just one geyser. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. I just killed a couple. Oh, did he just... Okay, for a second, it looked like he was going to pull back. Yeah, it does look like it's just one guy. So I don't think there's really anything to worry about here. He, oh, he was very close to seeing my uh, second starport, but there was too much going on for him. So he uh, missed micro a little bit there, which is great news for us. Now I'm going to put these back and we have survived the first attack. But you, you can already see. I imagine if that was 20 more Zerglings. Like, we just die. Like, with, with the mines do not do well against things like that, guys. Not, not at all, in fact. Oh, need to lower this, of course. There we go. And I, I guess all in all, it was pretty decent. I mean, it was a little more chaotic than I would have liked, but it was okay. And after my third, I can make the fourth cast, saturate that one. And then we do have to go for Banshee Speed first, because Speed takes way longer than Cloak. Now, Cloak is the more important upgrade, but... I uh, Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, usually... I, I guess I'll have two Banshees faster than Cloak anyway. Like, normally the magic number of Banshees is two, right? Now, my opponent must be a little confused as to what I'm doing. I, I could imagine that he thinks this is Battlecruiser, because I don't think anything was building from that yet. Now, I oh, wait, I should go for my five command center setup, of course. Yeah, that's a good idea. Here we go. I'll make another one. Just just in plain sight as well. Wait, where did the overlord go? I want to say it went to the left side a little bit, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to try to scoot around like this, get my Banshees, then I'll get one more command center. Actually, I'll make the engineering bay first. There we go. Now, again, playing a Zerg is always really funny. This five commands that are set up, I think it must have been over a year ago when we figured it out. And I, I think it's been such a long-standing invention for us. The five commands that are set up with the three planetaries really has carried us in a lot of ways. Now, Cloak is not done yet, and the Overlord saw me. Oh, maybe I can do some damage against this hatchery. The creep is not that far yet, so he's going to have to pull the queens out of position, uh, which is quite nice for me. And then I'm going to start producing ghosts. I'm going to get building armor instantly. Get a planetary up here, and now there's an overseer going into my main. Maybe I can snipe it with the widow mine. Actually, if I get the trajectory, let's see. Can I get it? I think I got it, right? Yeah, look, beautiful. Is it gonna? No, of course not. <laughs> I saw that coming. I was, is it gonna die? No, of course it is. It, now it's gonna die. There we go. Man, those things are tanky, aren't they? Holy. Okay, let's try to start scattering those widow mines a little bit to get more map presence. Now, these are starting to get finished as well. I'm going to make a second uh, Ghost Academy. Let's see, is there anything here? Oh, he does have the Overseer, unfortunately. There we go. We sniped the Queen. That's nice. I mean, Banshees with speed, obviously a lot of outplay potential there. Now, I'm a little scared for how fast uh, the Lair was. You go over here, please. You go over there. Because the Lair means that a Spire can be on the way pretty fast. And Cloaked or Good Master, I think we've seen it before, is really not that great against Mutilus, guys. Like, it's really not. I'm gonna get my first Ghost. I'll probably get a second or a, a third Barracks up here, too. Like, I think I need to start spamming Ghost now. I feel like, you know, he's uh, done well enough against the Banshee. The Spire is probably on the way already. I mean, I have to guess. It's like, what would you do if you play against Mass Banshees and, and you have a Lair? Right? I mean, I don't I don't think it's rocket science. I guess technically it could be like Hydras or something, but uh, more likely it's going to be the Spire. There we go. We killed the Queen, and that's going to give us free reign. Okay, so the Mutas are out already, exactly. So now I'm just going to dip. I'm probably going to lose a couple Banshees here, which is a little annoying, but it's okay. I'm going to start getting my Ghost up. This is one of the things I hate the most in StarCraft, by the way. That... Mutas still catch up to Banshees even with speed. Like, you would hope that at least they're fast enough that they can run away from, like, Mutas, like, or maybe, like, the same speed, but I feel, or they, they could be the same speed, but just, like, a little bit faster so they can actually run away. But nope. 
All right, so Cloak is finished. And I'm going to be able to kill this Overlord now. Now I have the Vision of the Banshees. And I have 75 SCVs, but I, I feel like this is a very, very difficult situation that we have found ourselves in, to be honest. Playing against, uh, you know, a Zerg with full map control. We haven't really done any damage besides kill two Queens, I think, quite literally. So I'm a little scared here, guys. This might be one of those episodes where we do uh, get absolutely dunked on an MMR. And I hope that isn't the case, because then you guys lose faith in me. And I don't, I don't like it when you guys lose faith in me. All right, I'm going to get the... What's the upgrade? Ah, here. I want to get the turret range upgrade. I think that's going to be really good against the Mutas. Like, ghosts are decent against Mutas, but you, you never have enough ghosts to just fight Mutas straight up until it's, like, super late game and you have, like, 30 of them, you know? Like, that's the thing. Okay, time to start getting nukes. I mean, triple nuke is going to be good. Th those, yeah, those gases make me think that he's definitely going for, like, a mass Muta kind of thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to snipe the queen and then the hatchery. Here, I saw the hatchery was quite low, so that's the plan. I'm going to get an armory up as well, so I can start getting two two later on. And there we go. That's a really good snipe. That, that's, the, that's the first good thing that we have done this game. Uh, we are going to lose the Banshees, probably all of them, but it's... I, did, I don't think they had any use anymore, to be honest, so it's all good. I, well, I guess I could have kept this Mutas at home with them. That's the only thing I really could have done, but I, I'm pretty happy with that. Like, that was a very important hatchery. That was a big part of his economy. And now, uh, you know, we did remove that from him, so that's really good. I, I just have to make so many turrets. But Mutas are also pretty good against turrets. It's mostly, like, the units that accompany them that are quite good against the Mutas. Like, if you have, like, a Thor plus turrets, right? Get a couple more over here as well. I think at some point I want to get... Maybe I could get it already. I was going to talk about Drilling Claws. I think at some point I could get Drilling Claws. That could be quite decent against Mutas. Let's see. I'm going to send... One goes to the right and two to the left. I think that sounds about right. I need to start getting more command centers as well. Like, I even need to get this one, I think. Like, if I get that base up, that's going to be pretty all right. Okay, so he might... He's going to consider attacking us here, looks like. Let's see what I can do. I mean, this planet there is going to go ham. He's walking into the turrets as well. Yo, this is not a good trade for the Mutas at all here, I think. I don't need to be careful for those freaking Bane links. Let's see. And the turret maybe, like, kill the Overs here or something? That would be absolutely massive. Hey, yeah, he's going to go for the SUVs instead. He does lose every Muta for it, which is really not that bad. Can I get that? With one of my snipes? Oh, we do get it. Okay, that's beautiful. There we go. He does have another one ready to go, though. So we're going to lose everything here. And now we are left to uh, win this game with, with nukes, pretty much. There we go. Gonna drop a couple of nukes here. I do have some Widow Mines up in the main base. Maybe I can remake the Banshees now that he lost all the Mutalisks. That, that's actually not a bad idea, I think. Let's see. Are we gonna kill anything? This one is gonna get eight kills. This one is gonna get zero, probably. And that one is barely not gonna land. That was the most important. Oh, here we go! 20 kills! Okay, so the nukes definitely popped off. That is really, really good for us. Now, I'm gonna start making a little bit of a wall here. I'm also going to start up Drilling Claws. Let's see, this one is out of energy. This one, I mean, it's going to die, but it got 20 kills. So that's definitely the hero so far. Let's try to kill all of these freaking changelings. And then, I mean, I I, I just need a def defendable position. That, that That's all what I all of what I need. Let's see, maybe I can... Okay, we're going to kill the Overseas here. Oh, that's actually very good. There we go. Now we already can't really attack in anymore. And that's going to buy us a little bit of time. I think I have one Banshee about to finish, right? Oh, no, wait, I didn't start it on time. Or... No, I, I was supply blocked, I guess. That probably makes more sense. Here we go. Going to be very, very careful here. Try to snipe the valuables. Okay, I'll just uh, cloak these. Yo, in the end, this trade looks pretty good, I have to say. Like, I mean, I know I lost a lot of stuff, but... I definitely think that could have been a lot worse. Like, if he went for my units instead, I think that would have been tougher. Now he has a few more wasted banings as well. I do need to start just spamming command centers, I think. Like, I can't win this game by uh, just defending at this point. Like, I need to spam command centers like crazy. Get a couple of Widow Mines over there. I do still have 70 SCVs, which is really nice. I think I've... Yeah, I have too many here. That's what I thought. Okay. I'll saturate this and then send the rest over here. I mean, this is a risky position, but it could work out, right? Okay, let's see. Where's the Banshee? I, I, I just want my Banshee. Get my Banshee out here. There we go. He's going to lose the Overs here. See, he does have a lot of stuff, though. And I'm kind of out of energy. Okay, here we go. He has another Overs here coming. Can I kill it? I mean, this Banshee alone is doing so much work. He's going to try to kill that now. But he's not paying the best attention anymore to his units. Yeah, I think I need to be... Oh, thank goodness I have another Banshee coming out as well. I'm going to try to do the best micro possible. I did lose another Banshee. I did lose the Command Center as well. Let's try to kill that. And now we are going to kill all of his units. Let's start a triple nuke up again. I think that's the right play, play to make here. 
Okay, I'm gonna go for the triple nuke. I'm gonna lose a couple of ghosts here. Oh my god, these are all so low HP. It's disgusting. Oh, we did get a planetary up. It survived during the onslaught. Okay, I, I kind of thought I would look over and it would be dead, to be honest, but it survived. And it's very nice. Now, I haven't used this privilege in ages, but I, I am technically allowed to make... Um, What's it called? To make medevacs. And I think I really want to make a couple of medevacs now because it's just hurting seeing how low these freaking ghosts are. Oh, he, he made corruptors. Okay. For a second, I thought it was mutants. I think mutants would have scared me even more, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Where, wait, only one of my eBay survived, I guess. Oh, wait, even one of my upgrades was canceled. I didn't realize that. Okay, let's see. Can I do anything with these? Uh, I mean, this planetary is probably going to stand strong for... Qu oh, my goodness. No freaking way. That widow mine killed like four of my ghosts. The planetary stayed alive for so long, but just not enough. And I think now we are officially doomed. Now, I mean, I do still have a triple nuke, guys. That 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 that's the main plan here. I do still have a big triple nuke. I have one command center building. I'm gonna keep building those. I mean, if I don't get a fat nuke now, that's gonna be it. So that's what I'm gonna go for. You can nuke that. This one is gonna nuke the middle base, and this one is gonna nuke the base on the right side, of course. That seems pretty clear. He didn't see this one, which is nice. I'm gonna nuke it now. Oh, he saw this one. That is really tough. Y you could see him instantly F2 his army over as well. Oh, that sucks for us. He's gonna see it right away with the overs here. Oh, well, his links are not nearby. Okay, he's gonna click them in time. Unfortunate. That could have been uh, really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna send my thingies here now. Oh, this one goes on spot. Oh, barely. Oh my goodness. That was so freaking close. Guess I'll just hide in his corner over here. Well, maybe these can make the difference. Let's see, okay, he, he was looking for the ghost, but he couldn't find it. Okay, here we go. Gonna kill some drones here. That could potentially be nice. Gonna try nuking this from the high ground. Okay, he does have some infest. Oh, this could be huge, actually. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, my God. All these investors are in trouble. Killed four already. Very, very nice. It does another fungal, but he's not gonna kill most of these, I think. Or at least a couple are gonna stay alive. Now, I'm gonna make some more ghosts. I mean, my supply is better than I would have expected, to be fair. Did I get... Yeah, I did get drilling claws in the end. Yeah, I just need a couple more widow mines, I think. I'm gonna start harassing this base. I mean, this just has to be a planetary. If, if he attacks before this one finishes, uh, then, yeah, I mean, I think that has to be officially it, right? I already felt like it was officially it before, but I don't think it was. So he has burrowed investors, not, uh, which is kind of funny, I think, because, <laughs> I mean, it's not necessarily my biggest problem that he has burrowed investors here. Okay, I'm going to kill this base, which is really nice. He's going to... Probably a move this base now, if I had to guess. Let's see, I have a couple more Widow Mines up here. That could be very, very good. Okay, he's going to go for a big attack, but it's a little disjointed, I want to say. Okay, I mean, these have cloaks, so these are going to be completely fine. Let's see, can I maybe just kill the Corruptors off as well? So the Corruptors are going to die, but that is a big part of my economy as well at the same time. I mean, I, I, I'm not trying to get confident here, obviously not, but I do feel like we're making some moves that are uh, kind of getting us back in here. Now, let's see, I think it's time to go for another triple nuke. With this one, I, I kind of want to just nuke the middle of the map more than anything else like just like right there or something i feel like that could be a decent play no stop rallying there please okay that one's gonna nuke the middle is he gonna try to oh he's coming once more let's see oh there's a lot of ghosts wait did those investors just pop to the freaking planetary oh i think they did oh no i wish those freaking shot the investors instead or the or the zerglings i mean i'm still alive here a little bit but where did my ghosts go i thought oh here they are yeah, I guess I found them. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Let's see. Did my nuke in the middle do anything? Probably not. I'm going to snipe that one investor. The hatch died. Man, this has been a very, very, very chaotic game. The hatch dies to my banshee. He's going to run away from that nuke, but potentially not from the other one. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Another pop of nuke. That is exactly what we need. How much money do I have left? The answer is pretty much nothing, really. And my opponent seems to have a good amount of stuff uh, in the middle of the map. Okay, I'm going to send one ghost to the right side. Do I have a banshee? I, I'm not sure if there's spores on that base, actually, I have to say. Okay, I got a couple more nukes, which is nice. I've, I can't believe I've managed to kill this base. His base is on the edges, by the way. Like, that's actually very surprising to me that I managed to somehow kill his bases on the edges. Let's see. Oh, he doesn't... Wait. He doesn't have upgrades? Why is he not have upgrades? That's pretty crazy. I was so surprised that I was still owning these drones. Ah, uh, that I guess that ran out of energy. Not 100% sure. I mean, this bench is being very annoying, which is uh, really good for us, of course. You see, he does have a hive. I need a couple more ghosts on the left side, I think. 
Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna nuke that base right now. I think he saw it. That's why he's moving over. So I'm gonna use... Ah, please. Okay. I mean, this Banshee's doing a great job, but still. Okay, he's oh my goodness, that would have been so close. If he rolled in there, that could have been an absolute disaster. Let's make sure I kill these now. Now I have two ghosts over here. See, I'm going to nuke that one. That one he's going to see instantly, unfortunately. But it's still a pretty good distraction. Oh, he had, he had more bailings, I guess, which he rolled in later. That's kind of unlucky that they were just out of shot for me. And now it seems like he, you know, he kind of understands what I've been going for all this time with all the nukes because he is defending all of them very well. And I think even though I fought really well this game, to be honest, we just got owned a little bit too hard early on. And I guess it is going to be one of those episodes, guys, where we don't manage uh, to make the epic comeback. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Happens to the best, I suppose. Maybe I could make like one more weird push. Let's say he forgets to make a little bailings or overseers if we get one more like really weird push in. Or maybe, maybe with some nukes or something, I don't know. Okay, so he's here. Oh, there's a burrowed infester somewhere, right? That, I, I, I imagine that's what gave him vision there. I feel like we're about to get fungal to hardcore. I'm not 100% sure if it's true, but... Oh, he went for... Ooh! I mean, that's really good. He went for the command center. Do I have enough guns? Those Witherwines popped up so hard, but I think it's just barely not enough. And GG, well played, if I learn how to type, is going to be called. 140 supply with a lot of money, guys. I did my absolute best. Oh my god, he killed 136 workers. I don't think I've ever seen that against a Terran. Like, Terrors don't build that many workers, but I guess I just have to build so many and lose them all the time in this challenge, guys. Promise you I did my best today. You guys were right. I shouldn't have told them. But still, I think it was a pretty fun episode. I mean, this game is really tough. Sometimes you have to be reminded of your struggle so you can do better next time. And I'm sure I will for now. Hope you guys still really enjoyed this video. Make sure to give a video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all for the next one. Adios.